Hello, Too Cool Stamping friends. This is Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. We're here for our live class like we are just about every Thursday at 9 a.m. I just want, want to start out by saying I will not be having a live next week. I have some other things on my calendar and I won't be able to have our weekly live. So I wanted to let you know about that right away. But we usually do this every week and this week is, I feel like it's extra, extra special. Number one, because the new catalog came out yesterday. So super excited about that. Have you placed your order yet? Have you been over there to look at the new catalog? I am absolutely in love with so many products from the new catalog. It's kind of mind blowing. So I hope you've had a chance to look at it. I do want to also um, note that I, there's some, we're having some connection problems. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping that's not gonna continue. I apologize if that's happening. I hope we don't have that today because it's so much good stuff today. Um, okay, so I want to find out whether you have your catalog in your hands because um, you should have, if you are a current customer of mine and have placed an order with me over the past like six months, you should have received a catalog in the mail. If you haven't, don't worry, it's on its way. For some reason, there's been kind of some delays. I don't know if it's COVID-19 related or what's going on, but um, I know that I have several people who have received their catalogs, several people who have not. I have not received mine. I mail it out. Uh, I mail out a copy to myself so I can get an idea of when things hit customers. Um, but this is nothing that Stampin' Up's fault. They uh, this is a bulk mailing that they put out and I included my customers in it and it happened way back at either the end of April or beginning of May and so it's been a long time so I know just this week a lot of people are starting to get them in their mailboxes so hang tight hold on um, hopefully it'll be in your in, in your mailbox very very soon if you're concerned about it give me a, a shout out give me a message uh, you can email me or send a message through Facebook. Let me know you did not receive your catalog. I'll make sure that you are on the list. If not, I'll get one out to you right away. Um, if you're not a customer of mine, you can still get a catalog. Just I encourage you to go to uh, twocoolstamping.com. There's a place there that has uh, a contact at form there that you can fill out, and I can get a catalog to you. So check that out. Okay. Let's talk a little bit before we get on to this class, which this class today, awesome. It's the Forever Greenery Double Sheet Wonder class. And I have I made this for my team for our, our meeting last month and we had so much fun and I could not wait to share it with you guys. So we're gonna do that today. But before we do that, I wanted to go over some things to help you save money on your catalog orders. So um, of ways that you can save money on your catalog on your orders for the catalog purchases, then you can go to twocoolstamping.com. I have all kinds of hints and tips for you to save. One of them is look for bundles. Bundles are always gonna save you 10% on that bundle rather than purchase, purchase, bleh, purchasing them separately. So that's one thing you can start out right away by looking for. Um, but the other things, two things I wanted to mention we haven't done this, and I don't know if we've ever done this while I've been a demonstrator, and I've been a demonstrator for about 16, almost 17 years. Um, Stampin' Up! has two awesome promotions that they released along with the new catalog. I mean, this is kind of unheard of. So it allows you to really, really save and get the most bang for your buck. And I just am really in awe that they put those out there at the same time as the release. So let's talk about those real quick. The first one is called the Catalog Kickoff Host Promotion. So what this is, is um, every time you have a $150 order, uh, whether it's an individual order or whether you're hosting a workshop, you start to earn stamp and reward dollars. And for the first, uh, between $150 and $300, you earn 10% back in stamp and rewards dollars that you can spend on anything that you want so that's in addition to you add that on to that very same order so for june with this catalog kickoff promotion you can actually get 25 additional stamp and rewards dollars when you hit that 250 dollar level and okay let's be honest not hard to do at this moment there's just so much you can choose and so many things to love so 
it's a great time to take advantage of that. So $250 order is gonna qualify you for that special catalog kickoff host promotion. You're gonna get 10%, so you're already gonna get $25 in Stampin' Rewards anyway, just for hitting that $250 level. And then you'll get $25 more on top of that. So $50 to spend in additional product when you place a $250 order. Uh, I love that they have that out there because of course people, if, if you're gonna have a big order, this is probably the time you're gonna have it when the new catalog comes out and there's so many things to get. So I love that. So that's one of the first ways I want you to know about to save money. The second way, and it's my favorite way, and that is it's the Pick a Bundle Starter Kit promotion. So let me talk to you about what the regular starter kit is first of all, because that is already an amazing deal that is available any time of year. And um, it, it's part of joining the Stampin' Up! family. You would be part of my Two Cool Stampers team, but it's such an amazing, amazing deal. So it starts out with $99 is the price of the starter kit. You select up to $125 worth of merchandise, anything that you want, up to $125 and you get free shipping on that order. So essentially you're only paying $99 plus tax if you have that in your state. So that's the normal order. Any day of the week, any month of the year, you can place that order. But right now in June, Stampin' Up! has the Pick a Bundle Starter Kit promotion, which means when you pick, or when you get that starter kit promotion, or when you get that starter kit, um, you can, Take advantage of this promotion. And what it is, is pick any bundle out of the catalog, any punch bundle or any die bundle. So pretty much anything that has the word bundle behind it is something that you can choose for your free product for just purchasing that starter kit. So for $99 plus tax, you get $150, or sorry, $125 worth of merchandise. You get free shipping on that, which is equal to 10% of your order. So that's already a lot of money. And then you get that free bundle. Anything, any choice from, from anything in the catalog. Some of those bundles are like $54, or I think there's one for $60. So that's a pretty substantial incentive. So if you have been thinking about joining my team, if you've been thinking about, um, becoming a too cool stamper wish list which I do uh, you know if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars anyway this is this is what you should be doing and let me give you a couple other um, a couple other notes about the starter kit because I get these questions all the time first of all the first thing that people are hesitant about with the starter kit is okay I'm not gonna do parties I I don't want to sell and I you know I don't want to be a demonstrator and that's no problem. That's absolutely no problem. There's no obligation for you to sell. There's no obligation for you to have a party or workshops. Um, you can simply be a discount shopper. And may I add a happy discount shopper. Now remember when you get that starter kit and you become a part of the Stampin' Up! family and a part of my Too Cool team, you also get 20% off all of your future orders. So not only do you save an amazing amount and get this amazing deal with the one starter kit order, then you're gonna be able to save on all your future orders. So if you have a large wish, wish list happening, uh, you know, take advantage of that starter kit deal and then any order that you wanna place after that is gonna be 20% and that's while you remain active. So I'm telling you what, there are no strings attached. There's no obligation to sell as I mentioned if by some reason you don't want to remain a demonstrator, you can just drop with no penalty. So there's no, um, really, I've been doing this for 16 years and I've never had anyone complain after they signed up that it was too much or they shouldn't have gotten into it, no regrets. So if you have questions, any hesitations at all, any concerns, I want you to contact me and I can explain how the whole thing works. But essentially, if you have a $100 order, it just makes sense. It makes sense to get that $125 worth of product and a free bundle out of all of that, even if you never order anything after that. I know you'll want to because there's a lot of good stuff happening and you're gonna see videos like this with a lot of projects and you're gonna to wanna to order more 
And so when you do, you can ha get anything else at 20% off. So think about that. Um, be a discount shopper. Be a happy. I can answer any questions you have about that. You can find out all the information about both the host promotion and the starter kit promotion at twocoolstamping.com. Now, one more thing. It's really cool. If you earn Stampin' Rewards dollars through your catalog kickoff promotion, so you're earning those extra $25 on a $250 order, you can actually use those dollars and apply them toward the purchase of a starter kit. So if you have a $250 order, you're gonna have $25 in Stampin' Rewards automatically, and then $25 additional with that June promotion. That's $50, and you can apply all that $50, or more if your order's more, toward the purchase of a starter kit. So now you're talking super, super cheap for a starter kit, and you still get everything in that starter kit. $125 worth of product and the free uh, shipping and the bundle for, of your choice for free. So I'm telling you what, there's like a chance to do crazy double dipping right now <laughs> on those uh, incentives. So um, if you have questions, let me know, post them below or send me a, a direct message uh, or go to twocoolstamping.com and I have all the details there. Okay, you guys, it's just such an awesome, awesome and fun time. Oh, I know one more thing I wanted to tell you. On my website, twocoolstamping.com. I also have a shopping list that you can print out. It's kind of a wish list. You can write down all of the things that you want to order. And it also has a kind of a checklist of all of the money saving tips that I talk about on my website.com. And um, you can find the link to download that shopping list. And then you can have a nice place to uh, write down everything that you want to order and all of the different reminders about how to save money. Okay. Shoo, I know that's a lot, but I'm telling you what, it's just such an exciting time. So I hope you are having fun with the catalog. Let me know what you think of the catalog. Do you like it? What's your favorite, what's your favorite bundle? What do you think you're going to be ordering first or what have you already ordered? So I'd love to hear. Okay, um, let's get started. I know um, it's going to run a little bit late today and I apologize. I know everyone's time is really, really valuable and I appreciate you spending time with me but this is a really awesome project. And I was not sure if I was gonna be able to show you guys this week because I know we've had some, um, some of the items from our pre-order on the at-risk list, which means um, some of the items are selling so fast because they're so popular. And the Stampin' Up, um, Stampin Up said some of their, their next order, their next batch of things might be a little ways down the road. So there might be a brief period where it might be back ordered or even non-orderable. So um, I was worried about today's project because of the paper, but right now it's still looking good and it doesn't mean it, it won't change in the coming uh, days or weeks. So anyway, what I'm working on today is the Forever Greenery Suite. And yes, especially if you like greens and teals, which I do, and um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And even I've I've noticed um, I did this project with my team, and even some of the people who are not really into greens ended up loving this paper and loving the stamp set because of how versatile it is. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So um, I'm going to flip everything around. Let's see if there's anything else I need to talk to you about. I don't think so. I'm going to flip everything around and start talking to you about this class. It's called the Forever Greenery Double Sheet Wonder class. And I'm actually, um, it's kind of like a one sheet wonder if you're familiar with that um, as, a, as a term. Uh, sometimes people will create a whole class. They'll take a piece of either designer series paper or a piece of um, cardstock that's been stamped all over it and then cut it up into pieces and use all those pieces on different cards. So one sheet and you make a wonderful collection of cards. And so we're going to do kind of a twist on that and it's called the double sheet wonder and it's an idea that came from Shannon West from um, she's from the Stampin' Up! corporate office and she did a little um, a demonstration with uh, with us about the double sheet wonder concept and I love it. And essentially what it is, is um, 
you're going to use two, instead of using one 12 by 12 sheet, you're going to use two six by 12 sheets. So you're going to get a lot more versatility with your projects and the look of your projects. So you'll see what I mean in a minute, but I am so, so okay. It looks like we're having some connection issues. I don't know. I know we have some storms in the area. I don't know if that's uh, part of the problem. Hopefully this is all working for you. I really, I really hope that it is because it's going to be such a great class. Okay, we're going to flip you around and I'll introduce you to the Forever Greenery Suite or at least some of the products, not all of the suite. Some of them are actually on back order already. So we're just focusing on things that aren't. And um, yeah, I'll show you how this whole double sheet wonder works. So if you wanna hold on for one second, please. You might wanna close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open. All right, whoops, sorry about my hand in the way there. Cranking that close, there we go, okay. Let me straighten some stuff out here. Looks like, I don't know what, I'm having some things in the way here. Hold on. And let me turn my other light on here too. All right, I'm not sure what's in the way. It looks like, let me move this again. I apologize, I wanna get this so that you can see the whole the whole screen without these little things on the side. There we go, okay. Now we're hooked up. All right, so let's talk about the Forever Greenery products first. And this is kind of a supply list of what you're gonna need for this class. So first of all, the main showcase is the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. This is absolutely gorgeous paper and there's so many different styles. So you can see all kinds of ferns and leaves and coordinating patterns, just gorgeous. And in every color of green, I mean, there's pretty peacock, shaded spruce, uh, soft sea foam, garden green, and it goes on and on, pear pizzazz and old olive, everything. Uh, and also the new color, um, the just jade, the new in color, and then the back coordinating patterns that go with it as well. So that is the Forever Greenery, and we're gonna be using six by 12 sheets of those. So you just would need two of any pattern that you like and cut down to six by 12. All right, next you're gonna need the Forever Fern Bundle. This is amazing. Uh, this is a distinctive stamp set, so you're gonna get really detailed images, some really nice sentiments, and then there's a bundle um, that has the, it's called the Forever Flourishing dies, and it cuts out all of the different leaves, plus you have other leaf dies here that, um, that can add to it that are just for some extra accents. So this is absolutely beautiful. This bundle, you can find it on page 108 in your catalog if you have that. Oh, also I wanted to mention, if you don't have a catalog, go to twocoolstamping.com. I have a link to a PDF of the entire catalog and you can um, at least view it online if you don't have it in your hands. So this is on page 108 of the catalog, and the bundle is 154094. 154094, so that is the Forever Fern stamp set and, um, and die bundle. Then we have, um, Another, I actually did two different bundles with this class just to get a little more versatility in the sentiments. If you already have sentiments, um, it's you know something that you can definitely substitute different sentiments, but I also wanted to use a lot of the dies from the coordinating die set, and this is the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Uh, a really great thing about this particular bundle is that it's still a bundle. It was actually in our mini catalog in the spring, and um, usually, whatever catalog it's in, that's the only time you'll have that special bundle discounted 10% off price. But with the um, pandemic and everything, they went ahead and left it as a bundle price in the new catalog, so you can still save on that. So I love, love, love that. Okay, so this is the other stamp set and dies that we'll be using with this set, or with this class. Also, you'll want to get the, let me see what it's called. 
It's the greenery, sorry, I forgot the name of it, the greenery embossing folders. These are two little mini embossing folders and they are gonna work perfectly in the mini stamp and cut die cutting stamp, sorry, stamp and cut and emboss. Mini stamp and cut and emboss die cut machine that's coming later this year. It is in the new catalog, but it's not available yet. And the big machine, the regular stamp and cut and emboss die cutting machine, both of those items will be available a little bit later this year. They haven't give us, given us specific timing, but these little folders are gonna work in the mini really well. So, um, so just wanted to let you know that. And you'll get to see the patterns a little better as we do the projects. All right, other things you're gonna need for this class, the gold glitter enamel dots, some pretty peacock and old olive reversible ribbon that goes with that paper so beautifully. And I love that it has kind of a gold shimmer to it, which goes really nicely with the gold glimmer dots. So I thought that worked really well together. And then also some of the white crinkle seam binding ribbon that will be used as well. And then as far as colors of cardstock, we're gonna use the full gamut of all of our colors. You can see in our catalog that this is the Forever Greenery Suite. Again, it's on page 108 to 109. And whenever you see a suite, you're gonna see this really nice and handy uh, legend, basically, of different colors that are used in that suite. So this one has Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Just Jade, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Soft Sea Foam. All of the pretty greens. And so we'll be using all of those card stocks and inks, um, a lot of those inks in this class. Okay, we gotta get started. So let's go ahead. So what we're gonna do is, and we will have a class kit available. I have the information up here, but it'll make more sense later when we have our projects going. So um, let me show you how the Double Sheet Wonder class works. First of all, we have two separate sheets of paper. So as I mentioned, two six by 12 sheets of paper. So select two that coordinate well together. And when I did mine, I did a combination of one that had kind of a, a more dense and decorative pattern with one that was a little more light and airy. So, and that's just for the Forever Greenery. Now the thing that's cool about this Double Sheet Wonder template is you can use it with any paper. I'm using it with the Forever Greenery. If you have a different kind of paper at home, you can use the same template to make a very similar uh, card, you know, card layouts with your designer series paper. So that's what I really, really love about it. So I have two different templates here. One, um, when you have a $35 order with me, I'm gonna give you all of the templates and the instructions for all of these cards in a tutorial. So just keep that in mind. So I have template number one, and I'm gonna use my more decorative, uh, dense pattern on that one. And I'll show you how to cut that in a minute. And then the template number two is gonna have the light and airy version. And I'm gonna want to make sure that I cut my paper. If you have any directionalness, you're gonna to wanna to cut your direction to go kind of this way, the horizontal way. So because of the way I've designed the cards, you're gonna have certain cards that will have your leaves pointing upward or pointing to the side. But when you put it on your template, uh, if it has a direction, make sure the, the up and down part goes from side to side so it's a horizontal directional piece, okay? All right, so let's do some cutting and show you how easy this is, whoops. Took too many pieces there. So first we have our first template here, and I'm gonna use my Stampin' Trimmer. And we're just gonna cut everything according to this template. So let's see if we can get everything on the screen here. There we go. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this. So the first one, we have five and a quarter and five and a quarter. So we're just gonna cut right down the edge here at five and a quarter. So here is five and a quarter. And then this is five and a quarter by two. So I'm just gonna flip this right now and cut at the two mark. Whoops, that's the scoring tool. 
That's not gonna do me any good. And I apologize, I'm sure that the camera is shaking with all this craziness. And then I'm just gonna put these right back into their spot so we know. All right, next, my next line, I think I'm gonna cut this edge off here. So this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So let's just, I'm gonna flip this around and cut this edge off. And then we have just something that's not shown or they're not being used. It's just a little, uh, like a half inch off of there. So I'm, which means it's a five and a half inch piece. So I'll just cut that little piece off. That's the only little piece we're not gonna use. Boom, boom. All right, so there's our first one. See how simple that was? Not hard at all. Let me move this for a second and get our other template. All right, next, here's our template number two. And our piece number two, get our paper trimmer over here. And again, just like the first one, it's five and a quarter. So we're gonna cut down this line first. And again, we have another piece that's only two inches. So we'll cut that at two. The stamp and trimmer makes this super easy to do. All right, next. On the next ones, if we go just cut everything everything at the, um, it's three inches and three inches I'm gonna do here. I apologize, I see that the connection is not good and I hope that that, I hope it's still recording and it's all gonna be fine in the end. All right, for the bottom one, that one is five and a, and a half inches wide, so we'll just cut that. And then we'll have a one and a quarter inch piece that's left. And then the top here is four and a quarter inches wide. So you, you can see it's not really hard to use the template if you just do it piece by piece. And then we have two more pieces here, one and a quarter inch wide. All right, so there are all of our pieces. Super simple. Okay, so now we're gonna take all of the pieces and make cards out of them. And let me just show you the concept of how this is gonna work. So the first template has, they're all, they're all gonna be lettered or numbered, <laughs> numbered with letters. So the first template has an A that's gonna go on the first card, A. Then the second card is B, the third card is C, and so on. Now when you get to the second template, you'll see there's another A. That means that this piece goes on card A and this piece goes on card A. And then all the rest of these, um, this one is card F, and so card F. So you can see how you're gonna combine some of those pieces on one card, and you'll see that in a minute as well. All right, so that's how you cut everything. Then we're gonna use all these pieces and put together our cards. So I'm going to move all of these out of the way and show you how easy it is to put the cards together. All right, and we're gonna be making nine cards out of here and that's why I know it's gonna take a little bit longer since we're just getting started with the card making. But um, I wanted to show you, this is the first card. So super cute. Like I said, you're gonna use A and uh, the A piece from both template one and two. And I'll show you how to put that together. So this one starts with garden green. And again, like I mentioned, you can use your own designer series paper. You don't have to use Forever Greenery. You can use the same card layouts and make your own style of cards. So this first one is a gatefold. If you just saw, I put the ends together first, made sure they're nice and flush, and then I use my bone folder to crease. Next, I'm going to add, You can. this is where it gets fun too, when you use two sheets and not just one for the double sheet wonder, 
then you can mix and match. You can do this, you can do this, you can really get whatever you want out of it. So I'm gonna do just like I did with this card. So this will go on one side and this will go on the other. And the thing that's awesome about this is once you have the templates all cut and you know what you're doing for your cards, you have the layouts already, these go together so quick and beautifully. All right, let's do some stamping here. We're gonna start with our So Sentimental, Your Friendship is a Blessing. Stamp that right at the top. And then we'll add in some of this beautiful Forever Fern stamp set. We're gonna do that in Pear Pizzazz. And like I said, this is distinctive and what that means is it's extra detailed. So you're gonna love how beautifully these pieces stamp. So I'm just kind of adding in some greenery, quick and easy. And actually I'm just gonna leave that out because we're probably gonna use that quite a bit, that pear pizzazz. All right, I'm gonna add that. I will have all the measurements in the tutorial. And we're putting this on a pretty peacock die cut from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. If you don't have those, you really need to get those. Those need to be on your must have list for sure. All right, we're gonna take a piece of that pretty peacock reversible ribbon. It has old olive on one side, pretty peacock on the other, and it's so beautiful and shimmery. And there are other ribbons in that forever greenery suite. However, um, those are already backordered, which is why I wanted to focus on something a little bit different, but this ribbon matches just beautifully. So trim that off. And then we'll add that with some dimensionals. Now here's a real simple trick. We only want that to be on one side of that gatefold. So I, way, so I know not to put any dimensionals on this side, because we don't want to stick that closed by accident. Okay. And we'll just add that, and that will be our first card. So, so pretty. Okay, so this is our first card. Now, we're gonna move right along with our second card here. And this one starts with the Pear Pizzazz card base. This time, we're gonna use our number, our letter B piece, so it comes from our template. And I'm gonna just add that with some snail. Put that right on there. And this one's actually gonna be a horizontal card. I've already cut a piece here of garden green and I used some of the forever greenery uh, embossing folder texture on there so you can see that. So we'll add that. right across the bottom. All right, next I have a little piece here. This is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies again. This time we are going to stamp in the Pretty Peacock with a coordinating So Sentimental sentiment. And before we put that on our card, I want to add a little die cut. So I have this little piece of greenery that I got from the, um, the Forever. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's so delicate and intricate. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of, just a couple dabs. You could use glue dots or you could use um, multi-purpose glue. 
but I just did a couple of dabs to make it quick and easy. Then we'll add this. I forgot to mention on my last card, I didn't put my little gold glitter dots. I'll show you that in a minute. So we'll just pop this sentiment up with some dimensionals right here. I already have a little bow that's tied with the white crinkle ribbon seam binding. I'm just gonna put that right on a glue dot and peel it off and stick that on the side, trim these ends up a little bit. And then I can add, let's see if I can find my, here we go. Add just a little, one of these little glimmer dots to the side here. So there's my second card. So quick and easy. Let me show you real quick. Um, the first card I added the glitter dots, just a little bit floating amongst the greenery. Okay, that's the second card. The third card, we have that template. Again, this is card C. So this one, we're gonna start with some stamping on the front and it has a garden green card base. We're gonna use that same uh, leaf image and this time we're gonna stamp it in garden green. And we're just gonna add some stamping right along, kind of at a diagonal. Might do a little bit down here. And also, there's a little dotted image. I love this, just little specks. And we can add some of that around our greenery. Okay, next we're gonna add that strip of paper and I'm gonna use this back side. So again, you can pick whichever side you want, which gives you have a lot of versatility with the double sheet wonder. So we'll add that right down the front there. And then we have a little piece of pretty peacock. And we'll put that right across the bottom here. I already have a Stitch So Sweetly die cut, and we're gonna stamp that in Pretty Peacock with one of the So Sentimental sentiments. So we can pop that up and add that and put a couple of glimmer dots and you have a card that looks like this. Okay, that's number three. Number four. All right, this one, let's get our template out here real quick. So this is the fourth one, letter D, comes from right there. We're gonna use Pretty Peacock. Oh, sorry, it keeps reconnecting and I hope that you guys aren't getting everything cut out because this is such a fun project. All right, this one's also gonna be horizontal. Again, I have another strip here of Pretty Peacock that's been embossed with the greenery folders. So we'll add that. Oops. Put that right across the bottom. Next, I'm gonna take our designer series paper piece and I'm going to add it to a layer of garden green. So that's how it's building up there. We're gonna add, I have another little piece here. This is, um, this is actually from Ornate Garden, I think. Um, so it's another little label shape. And I'm gonna use Pear Pizzazz again to start with a little greenery. This time I'm gonna stamp it off once and just add a little, little bit right there. Then we're gonna use a sentiment in the Pretty Peacock, all, or you can do this. I love that sentiment, right over the top. So this will be a cute set of little tiny die cuts here. 
So let's see. Oh, and I also have one little strip. Let's put this little strip on first. This one goes down the side. And then we're gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. And we'll put that right there. We're gonna add these two little guys. And again, that comes, um, you can die cut those in with the dies that come in the bundle. I'm just gonna stick a little glue dot on the end here and tuck it under the edge. You can add that with multi-purpose glue if you wanted to. Just tuck that under. And then you would pop this up with the dimensionals as well and add a little glimmer dot right here to the side and there is that card. All right, moving right along. Our next card, which is the letter E, comes from this piece. We start with the new color, Just Jade, as our card base. And we'll add this piece of designer series paper at the bottom. So you can see how fast these cards come together. Once you have all your pieces and you have your layout, it really goes together quickly. I have a little strip here of pretty peacock. We'll just add that across the top. And then our focus from the stitched shapes dies. I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna use my leaves here. We've already stamped in garden green, so I'm gonna clean that really quickly on my Simply Chamois, just a little squish squish, get that nice and clean. Then we're gonna do, actually, no, that's not the one I wanted. I wanna use a new one. This is kind of longer leaves, kind of matches the longer, longer leaves of those. And I'm gonna, like I did before, just stamp off a little bit to make it a lighter background and then we're going to add in pretty peacock another little bunch of leaves here they're almost like berries and we're stamping off once and we'll add that right to the center and then we're going to use some shaded spruce for our sentiment and i need to wa wash off our sentiment we've already used, wishing you so much happiness. So I'm gonna squeegee that off on our Simply Chamois. Stamp it in shaded spruce. And there we go. Then we would just pop that up on the card front, add a few more of those gold glimmer dots, and there you have it. All right, next card. Okay, this one is one of my favorite kinds of cards where it has just a little opening that's a short opening in the front so that the back shows through and it's with Whisper White Thick. This time we have two pieces. So you can see in this template, you're using this piece. And then in your number two template, you're using the other piece, so F and F. So we'll put this piece down the side to show to the front. And then this piece goes on the front. Okay, I have another die cut from the Stitch So Sweetly. This is in the Pretty Peacock. 
and then we're gonna do a little stamping for, let's see if I can find what I need here. We're gonna use these little guys again, stamped off once. And then another little sentiment. This time it's gonna be stamped, that was in Pear Pizzazz, stamped off. This one's gonna be in the Shaded Spruce. And this is from Forever Fern, that sentiment. So pretty. This time, before we put everything together, we're gonna to put some ribbon on the back of the sentiment. So I'll put this down first. And then you can just add a little bit of snail to the back of your sentiment. And I'm just gonna add it, boom, 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 like this. Cut that edge off and then you can use some dimensionals again and add that to your card front with a couple more of your gold glimmer dots and you have plenty of space to write in the inside all right next card this one is one of the just jade card stocks and then this one we went from f to g so there's our piece from G. How far is it something you think you might try to do with your own designer series paper? So much fun. All right, this is our background. I love that Just Jade color, so pretty. This is Pear Pizzazz and I've already embossed it with the greenery embossing folders. I'm gonna cut a little banner cut in the end. So up the center and then corner to center, corner to center. So there's my banner. And look at that, I actually kinda of like the background, the debossed side. I think I might use that one just for fun. So that'll go right at the top. We have another one of the Stitch So Sweetly labels here. I'm gonna put that right across the front. And here's another Stitch So Sweetly. So I use that quite a bit. I love those labels so much. And this time we're gonna use I Can't Thank You Enough with Shaded Spruce. Fits perfectly in that label shape. Again, we'll pop this up with some dimensionals. Add a couple of gold glimmer dots and a little bow at the bottom with a glue dot. So that one is finished up now. Okay, just a couple more. We're almost done. We have the next one is gonna be with shaded spruce. We're using the H piece. go right over here we have a piece here of the soft sea foam and I'm going to use another sentiment from the forever fern this says love and laughter forever after we're stamping that in shaded spruce I'll put that right across the bottom here And then I have a little die cut from the dies that come in the Forever Greenery Bundle. We're gonna add that right here, just with the one glue dot, and finish up with a little white crinkle bow again. Let's put it like this. Trim those tails off there. And then you can add a little glimmer dot to the side if you want to. So that is our eighth card. 
And then we have one more. This one starts with the soft sea foam. And our last three pieces that we're using come from the template right here. Okay, so soft sea foam. A piece here of soft sea foam that has that beautiful texture on it. I really hope that you guys are still seeing this. I see that it keeps cutting out with the connection. I am so sorry about that. I hate when that happens. All right, I'm gonna add that to the card front. Then we have a piece of Whisper White here, and we're gonna take our three pieces, and we're gonna have three panels like this. So here's one. Whoops, come on. We're gonna be getting some new adhesive to replace our snail, if you haven't seen that. And it's available right now, it's called Seal. And it's supposed to be really, really awesome. We haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I have it on my order, so hopefully I will get it soon and I will let you guys know what I think about it. All right, so this is the background. We're gonna take some, let's get our sentiment ready. We have another little piece here. This is a, a little piece from the ornate um, frames, ornate frames. And I'll be stamping that sentiment hello from forever fern and that comes that's going to be in shaded spruce again and we'll pop that up with a couple of dimensionals and we'll put that right here all right then we can use some more of that uh, pretty peacock ribbon we're going to tie it around this piece before we pop it up with some dimensionals and then of course add a few more of those glitter gold glitter dots all right okay everybody that is the whole thing that's the whole class of cards and i wanted to show you really quickly we saw all the ones that i just did I went through and did all of the other designs. Um, you know, there's six different double-sided pieces of paper in the Forever Greenery. And so you can see uh, some of the other patterns together. So this, this particular combination uses kind of a, um, some of the patterns that have more of the bluish green. So you have the same cards. And let me go, I'll just do this so you can kind of get a comparison. These are the other two versions. So, and the other ones are kind of a little bit more green. So this one and this one, this one. So you can see I'm using the same card bases, the same other accent pieces, and they really all go together really, really beautifully. Here's the next one. They look great with all of the paper, so it doesn't matter which combination that you use. Even within your own uh, two patterns that you pick, you can certainly flip it around and pick the ones that you like. You don't even have to use the ones I've used here. You can use the backs. So, and here's the last one. Really, really pretty. So you can see, you can make a whole bunch of cards out of one pack of paper if you wanted to. If you just wanted to sit down and do all the different patterns and all the different styles. So, so, so much fun. Okay, so I wanna tell you about the class kit that I'm offering. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can uh, participate with this class kit. And it all starts when you, uh, you're gonna use a host code that I have here. And there's a couple things that you can earn. So if you have a $35 order, 
with this as your host code, QDH27MP2, then you're gonna get the complete tutorial for this Forever Greenery Double Sheet Wonder class. So you're gonna get the um, PDFs of the two templates that you're gonna need so that you can print those out and use those. And then you'll also get a whole, um, a whole tutorial about each card, how you put it together, all the different supplies you're gonna need, uh, how, what the measurements are and everything like that. So you're gonna get the tutorial and I do have it available right now. I know for my botanical prints, um, I didn't have that available right away, but this one is available. As soon as you place an order, you should get it within 24 hours. And that is with a $35 order. Now, if you wanted to place a $100 order, you will get the complete class kit. So that's gonna have all the different parts and pieces that you will need in uh, to make those classes, or make those cards. Now, hold on one second. I have one right here, I just wanted to show you. So you'll get the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. You're gonna get two patterns, and I'm just gonna pick two of the patterns from Forever Greenery, so any of the pattern combinations are gonna work well, but you'll get two patterns of six by 12. You'll get all the card bases, all the die cut pieces, all of your embellishments and everything that go with it. So all you would need are your stamps and, um, and your inks for to complete the card. So you need the Forever Greenery stamp set, and of course you wanna get that bundle. And you'll also need the So Sentimental bundle. Um, you only need the stamp set, but you'll wanna get the bundle because you'll get all those awesome label dies with this uh, stitch so sweetly. So that is the kit. Again, that is what you will get for free with a $100 order using that same host code. And that is, um, I do have free shipping on that. It will go out priority, so it'll get to you in two or three days. But I will not be sending out those kits until June 20th. Um, I mentioned early on in this uh, Facebook Live that I will not be having a Facebook Live class next week. So um, I'm gonna actually have this particular class available for two weeks. So this will be available through June 16th. You'll be able to get, uh, you'll be able to earn that either tutorial or the tutorial and class kit with a $100 order. And you'll have until June 16th for that. And then I will mail out all the kits on June 20th. So um, if you want all the information, I'll have it up later today at twocoolstamping.com. And uh, a couple other things. I will have a couple of links if you just wanna purchase the kit outright or the tutorial outright. If you're a demonstrator, you can go look at that. That'll be on my, my twocoolstamping.com page. I'll have links to those. And the other thing I would mention is, as I said earlier when I was going over the pick a bundle promotion for the starter kit, if you have a $100 order in mind, yes, it would be so awesome to earn that free class kit and tutorial from me, but I want you to consider taking that $100 and using it toward a starter kit. You can still purchase all your same supplies that you want. You can actually purchase, you can choose up to $125 worth of product for only $99. Plus you'll be able to pick a bundle. And one of the bundles that you can pick is Forever Fern Bundle or the So Sentimental Bundle. So you can get one of those bundles for free when you get that starter kit order. So that actually is gonna be your best de deal for, um, for getting products that you will need for this class and just to get you into that 20% off all your future orders. So consider that if you're gonna be spending $100 for this kit anyway, I would go ahead and get that starter kit. Now, I will give you the caveat to that is, I'm not allowed for getting, giving that starter kit. However, as a member of my team, all of my team members have already got uh, the Forever Greenery Double Sheet Wonder class tutorial, and I'll be happy to give you access to that as well. It's just part of my perks of being on my team. And then if you would like to purchase the kit with all the different parts and pieces as a member of my team, I will allow you to do that at a little bit of a discounted rate. So. Uh, once you're a team member, I can give you information on that. So you can still have access to the class and get that starter kit. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I want you to just you know ask me, send me a direct message, post something below, 
and I will get back to you. Um, I just know you guys are gonna love this double sheet wonder class and I know you're gonna love being a part of my team if that's something that you'd like to do. It really is such an amazing, amazing deal right now with the starter kit. Give it a, give it a look, see. <laughs> let me know if you have any questions. If you have any hesitations, please let me know. I can usually answer anything um, that you have and, and make you feel good about it because I have a lot of ha happy discount shoppers on my team and I'd love to have you be a part of it as well. All right, everybody, I hope that you have had fun with this a little bit longer uh, class today and uh, I hope to see you on my Facebook page again in two weeks, not next week, but the following week for our next live class. All right, have a great, great two weeks and I will see you soon. This is Angie with Two Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.